hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to fix your high cp usage i've been getting a lot of comments of people saying that they're getting really high cp usage and their fps is not same as mine like i used to get 550 fps almost 600 fps sometimes and one of the videos i almost got 680 fps without tweaking uh yes that 680 fps was like season one chapter three season one but the games are not optimized properly so yes uh, but with my specs you are almost uh, you're supposed to get around 500 fps like everyone's supposed to get 450 to 500 fps so i'll be showing you guys the main reason why you're not getting that much fps and the issue i've been facing that lately as you can see i'm getting around 455 fps yes same issue but and i actually found a solution i found the solution like a week ago but i was really busy to make this video so well, actually let's get into the video right now so what you want to do is tab out and go to your task manager and when you go there you can actually see your cpu is 100 percent no it's not supposed to be like that and your gpu is 30 percent it's not supposed to be like this it only happens when your cpu is really good and your gpu is really bad but in this case it's not supposed to happen so I'll be showing you guys how to fix this and get your GP back to like 80% or 70% and CP back to normal. So you, s you, you should find Windows Explorer or yeah, you can click over here on stats. You can see, scroll down, you can see Windows Explorer, yes. Sometimes you click here and you can't see the name, sometimes you can. You can go back. No, you can't find it every time. Yeah, now you can see it. Windows Explorer, sixty percent CPU usage. It's not supposed to happen. And there's two Windows Explorer. So what you guys want to do is go on the high CPU usage one and click restart. And you do that, it disappears. It's not there anymore. Don't do anything to this one. Don't end the task or do anything. Don't even end task for that. Just restart it. Simple as that. You could try and uh, like try to end task thing, but. I doubt it might work, it might come back up again. Just restart it, I think you should fix that one. And you can see my CPU dropped 60%, 64 Obviously it'll be that much because you're playing Fortnite right now. Uh, it might be around 55, some people good PC specs will get around 40. You can see like it was so high, it just dropped down. And you can see my C GPU is going up to 50. Now when you play creative with max FPS, you won't get like 50%. Like you'll, you'll get around 40 as well, but you won't get that high. But you can play in-game, you'll get around 80%. That's when your GPU is actually being used. All the rendering will happen and everything. So yeah, it'll be the same. Should be this much. Doesn't matter. You go back. You can already see my FPS. It's 600. It's almost 600. And now, I also figured out, like, it might not work on everyone's PC, like in 600. And this is uh, uh, no, no optimization, like zero optimization. Only Windows, like turning off the transparency, turning like increasing the, uh, not, not increasing, turning on the latency, the graphics menu, doing that, the basic stuff, nothing much. So you go down and you do increase the textures to higher. It does work for some people, does not work for everyone. So I was actually getting around 620 FPS when I did this. You can keep checking medium or an epic it does work sometimes mostly on performance mode so you should be in performance mode for this one you're getting on i'm getting almost the same fps but i usually keep on high i get more fps in game actually so now your fps is actually fixed you'll be getting around five four hundred fifty five hundred fps while free building in your map and yep that's it see how smooth my game is right now yeah that's it Just look and see how smooth my game is <laughs> I'm like on 500 FPS <laughs> yeah and I would recommend to cap your FPS in 144 if you're on 75 hertz if you're on 144 cap it on 165 if you're 180, cap it on 200. If you're playing to 240, keep it on 240, don't go on 360, and you won't even get that much FPS. Cap it on 240. And if you're playing 60 hertz, cap it on 120, 144. Because when you play on 120 FPS, 
you won't get that much smoothness like it is not that smooth compared to 144 it might feel very, like smooth if you're playing on 60 hertz but kappa 144 even if you're playing on 60 hertz it's just better trust me it's just way better and also won't hurt your monitor because if you keep it on 240 and you play it spoils your monitors so don't do that it's not good yeah that's it you can see how smooth my fps is right now as well after doing the explorer restart it's actually pretty smooth and i do get constant 240 fps yes i almost get constant 360 fps but yeah i can't afford that much if you guys subscribe and if you can if you guys can get me to 1k subscribers <laughs> i can afford it soon but not now Well, so this is method 2 for increasing your GPU usage. You can go on settings right now, go on gaming, don't go anywhere, just go on game mode. So you can turn this game mode on or off, depends on your PC. You can just check it out. For me, it works better on on. I feel like I get less input delay. Go on graphics and you can see change default graphics settings. So most of you guys won't have this on but turn this on this uh, this helps for everyone so when you turn it on it will show you to restart your pc um, uh, for me it's already on and then you go back before restarting go on your this, this uh, custom options for app you can go there you can browse and you can see fortnite fortnite games binary you can see this it's from windows i'll show you guys again on program files you go on epic games fortnite fortnite games binaries win64 you can see all these four go on this add add each of them it's already added for me add, add all of those and go on options and change high performance it's it's, it's really important for laptop uh, laptop users for the, because in power saving your gpu will be your intel graphics or your AMD graphic or and it won't show your high performance with GPU in video one which one which one you have for your high performance so go on high performance and click save do it for all of these all four and yeah that's and then restart your PC so that's it and nothing else it will give you like 20 FPS more 30 FPS more mostly it'll keep your FPS stable that's more important and your GPU on high usage so that's more important and now you can see after restarting my windows explorer i'm not getting like uh 100 cpu say so just 60 percent yes that's it it's really normal right now everything is good there's no issues you can see everything's just fine you can see so yeah people complain also like that your processes are high so there's one way to reduce your processes it's this is default i didn't do any tweaks. it's really default 130 it will get on windows 11 it will get on 150 actually 160 sometimes so i'll be take, I'll be making a video how to reduce this how to optimize your pc like basic optimization but many people don't have it many people don't do that so i'll be taking that out as well like maybe by next week i'm not sure but that's it so yeah guys uh, that's it for today's video but before ending the video everyone in the comment has been asking for my setting so this is it i really want to show you guys my setting right now so this is the normal 1680 by 1050 neat, native stretch rest, that's it yeah so there's a secret way to do this like many people don't know how to do this but yeah it's really simple honestly it's nothing that advanced uh so this is my resolution for 144 fps brightness is 50 nothing else brighten up 5 i do play on brighten up 2 actually but i feel like 5 is good the new season or not just feels good so 3d res everything view distance i don't keep a medium i don't feel like doing that much we sync off don't keep this ever on short sure fps on performance mode yeah. thing is 37 i play on middle east region yeah <laughs> yes i do play middle east region i get 37 ping you can see reset building choice on uh pre-edits options off double building on conformities on 
and nothing much over here. Extra game options. I don't, I don't change this. It's the same, I guess. Record uh, replay off. Don't ever keep this on. Never you need it. If you're playing comp, also like I feel like people have it. Like you can go on your leaderboard and you can check back your games. You can do that. I don't think you need to keep it on. Yes, if it's the scrims, you can keep it on. Depends. Uh, hot scale is actually 65. I changed 80 for the video today. Say latency network. I keep it off. I don't see this much. Uh, guide options. I never touched this actually, so I don't know how it is. Uh, 5.3, 5.3 .3 mouse sensitivity X and Y. 1600 DPI. I play on, and my mouse is Razer Viper Mini. So yeah and for uh, 45.0 percent targeting and 60 percent scope uh lock implemented now i keep it on because for my double movement i use keys to x i'm gonna show you guys right now it's keys to x so you can see so i use a uh, decent this is actually benji fishies i think yeah you can see you can actually click down here once let me show you back you can yeah you can download the best pro settings you can go here and mine's Benji Fishies 2021. I also use Booga sometimes, but it looks like these are the three best players, literally. So I used to use Boogas, but I feel like Benji Fish is better. Clicks is too less, I don't feel like using that. I feel like Benji Fish is really good. Booga is extreme, so just watch out for that. I don't feel like it's necessary. Benji Fish is the best one. It's, it's like strong and it's pretty good. Like It's not too much, it's not too less, it's good. This is it, like nothing else. That's it. And show you my key stacks also. And controller. I uh, used to use controller. This is my controller settings. Yeah, you can see. You can slow this down. Audio settings. Yeah, you go. Yeah, I use HyperX actually. You can't do it. I not change my input. Yeah. The output device. Sorry. Uh, so, that's it. Don't keep 3 headphones on. It's not necessary. Everything is normal. Or shut off. Key binds. You can if you're using key stacks you'll need to rebind this so yeah okay this wall and roof is for my mouse button so yeah that's it everything else is keyboard let's see you can slow this down if it's really fast for you slow it down please but yeah it's not these settings are really not important i feel like so yeah that's it uh, controller, this is not binded, actually unbind this. And the uh, last one, corner privacy, I don't think you guys do that. But there's nothing much on this side. You can all change the side, honestly, it's just normal if you like. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully your FPS is fixed. So yeah, thanks for watching. That's it too light. Big four and come get inside. Dami Gucci Lee come take a die. Kill that shit, but this don't